the man with the golden gun. And this is what act- what he actually says. Born in a circus, father a ringmaster, mother a snake charmer, trick shot artist by 10, gunman at 15, KGB recruited, became overworked, underpaid assassin, went independent, million dollars a hit, no photo on file but a third nipple, location unknown. Okay. The father was the ringmaster, his mother a snake charmer. A snake charmer. Can, can we talk about that kind of childhood right there for a second? You're dodging lions and snakes as a fucking child because you, your parents don't know how to get a goddamn job. It's not like his father was a postmaster, his mother a, a, a secretary. No, 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 no. He's dodging lions and snakes uh-huh. his whole goddamn life. We can see why he's yeah, a little that bit fucked with that up in gun. And not, is he fucked up? <laughs> and not, and not, not just that. Then goes to put his talents through a government, but he was he was underpaid by the KGB because the communist system, you know, they, they don't pay talent, and he had talent. So he goes rogue. Well, he was underpaid. 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 Yeah, so Gun- zero is pretty underpaid. Yeah. Trick shot artist at 10, gunman by 15. Wait, wait, trick shot artist at 10? 10. Well, who was giving him guns at 6 and 7? It could have been that snake charmer and that fucking ringmaster. <laughs> it may have been. Or Ringling Brothers and Madam Cobra. <laughs> The, move, the song starts off. He has a powerful weapon. <laughs> not not go. a gun, it's a stick. There you go. He has a powerful weapon. He charges a million a shot. <laughs> so when he shoots on you... You have to pay him. You have to pay him. Right. Makes sense. It's a good bargain, I guess. He has a powerful weapon. He charges a million a shot. An assassin that's second to none. The man with a golden dick. The man with a golden gun. Okay. So, so far... He's got a great one. If he comes on you, you give him you a million bucks. All right, lurking in, some <laughs> <laughs> lurking in some darkened doorway. There it is. Or crouched on a rooftop somewhere. I mean, who among us hadn't seen that? Oh, Jesus. So he's a little bit of a creep. He's, he's a little bit of a stalker. Who? Yeah. Who among us are not? Yeah. So he's looking for that next, in the next room, or or this very one. Oh, uh, uh, is he here? Shit. Could be anywhere. The man with the golden gun. Love is required whenever he's hired. So, all right. He comes on you. You nah. get a million bucks. But you also have to be in love with him. He's not going to just do it for... Well, he's got golden standards. <laughs> right. You know? So you have to be in love with him for him to do it. That's it. You have to be in love with him for you to give him a million dollars. <laughs> That's so, it. So deal with that. That's it. This is, this is kind of a raw deal. But he must be great in bed. Oh, yeah. He's, he's must be a uh, panther in the sun. Love is required whenever he's hired. It, chum, it comes just before the kill. So, so he actually might kill you too. Yeah. So it's not coming up great for anyone else except for him. No one can catch him. No hitman can match him for his million dollar skill. Now, no argument there. One golden shot means another poor victim. <laughs> Done. Done skis. <laughs> now that could also be an actual dead man or just another hood rat that he slid. Yeah. You know? She's the victim right. by... Taking the shot, Taking the giving a million dollars, dollars, and then and dying. Getting dying. Yeah. Uh, it's come to a glittering end. For a price, he'll erase anyone. I don't know what they mean by erase. Uh, <laughs> but he just kills him. Uh, the man with the golden gun. His eye may be on you. Or me. <laughs> Who will he bang? We, we shall, shall see. see. That's, that's a serious urge to, uh, to beat Bond. To actually make yeah. a wax sculpture of him and implore him. In your fun house. What do you think that meeting was like? Because, you know, he didn't make it himself. So who did he hire to make a wax sculpture of... <laughs> of a devil <laughs> agent that nobody knows about? <laughs> yeah. Let's think. Like he's making it like, nope, nope, that, nope. his nose isn't quite right. It's not right. Okay, now. Okay. It's not right. His eyes are a little more bluish. Mm. Give, give it a pinkish hue to his <laughs> cheeks. And then what he does to it, just shoots off those five wax mm-hmm. fingers. I mean, good God, man. The image is one of the funniest parts of the movie. Probably the funniest part was when he's uh, in the fun house with that gangster and he rollerblades down, does the barrel roll, grabs his gun, avoiding bullets, and puts it right in between his oh, fucking, yeah. oh, like right it. between those baby blues. The best part was was that the roller that a villain had <laughs> rollerblades in his fucking barrel <laughs> roll. Yeah. Bah! Oh, yeah. I mean, between mm-hmm. the eyes, man. That's it. So, and meanwhile, they cut this Caramanga, really, oh. rubbing that golden gun all over Andrea. Maud, and what happens when Maud doesn't, like, dig it as much as Caramanga wanted her to dig it? Dude, that face change 
Ooh, yikes. Oh, man, it's intense. There's about to be a lot of love required. I'm it, nervous. It, there's about to be million dollar <laughs> bullet shot all over that room, dude. <laughs> 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 My God. I'm not sure that Scaramanga really was really running that operation, so I'm not. I'm not gonna put. It was high fat. I'm not gonna put that one on him, but that was high fat, and high fat kind of ran a loosey goosey operation. He did, you know. I mean, he let Bond, Bond had to get over a wall. That's true. It, you know, I read that in the uh, the Consumer Reports. Yeah. <laughs> high fat, <laughs> high fat was for show. Scaramanga was for dough. You know. <laughs> Uh, his question is, how do you think the job interview went with Scaramanga and Nick Matt? Now, I can only say so far, I don't know how it went, but I know it was rigorous. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. How do you think it went? How do I think it went? I think it was strange whenever he had to get, uh, Nick Matt had to situate himself up on his seat with those <laughs> legs kind of flipping the whole, uh, th- I think it, I think not only did it amuse, but I think it distracted Scaramanga a little bit whenever he was making his hiring decision. I think that was one of the was one of the only things. Do you think he took out an ad in the paper? Oh, I think so. They just met. Yeah. Well, he couldn't send it out in the local uh, island paper because there was only one customer. I think it had to go a little bit worldwide. Yeah. Which is probably where we got the French persuasion. I like to think that everyone that walked in for the interview was all normal. Everyone uh-huh. was six feet tall, and then the uh, scamming was like, yeah, "Okay, y'all are all fine." And then uh, Nick Knack walked in, hired, and he just goes, "Hmm." Yeah. <laughs> I like where this is going. <laughs> I have to admit, oh, oh okay. I like where this is going. Okay, I like where this is going. And he talks to get a little French accent and then Scaramanga's head exploded and he hired him on the Hired! Side. Yeah. What room do you think they gave the interview in? Oh, I like to think, the. Uh, I'd like to think, like... The middle of the funhouse, really, yeah, really throw him off his game, you know, like where the where the golden gun was placed, yeah, <laughs> like, you know, like, like make him walk down that that hallway with the different uh, uh, door seals and all that. They probably had a couple run throughs. That's the thing. Certainly not the first uh, the tryout. Yeah, certainly not in the first room with the uh, you know the nice living room with the the lock guns. Uh huh. Definitely not that one. I think he made him to throw the candidate off his game. You right. Know, soften him up. Can he can he yeah. handle the pressure? That's it. That's okay. it. I understand. Okay, okay. That's okay. Hey, hey, can, you, can you imagine <laughs> when Scaramanga goes, and do you have any questions for me? I don't know, about a dozen. <laughs> Why do you have a gorilla hand holding a golden gun right right next to me, right here? <laughs> There's one. There's one. <laughs> just just a just a few just to name a couple. You know? <sighs> where do I begin? <laughs> any questions for me? I have oh, where do I begin? I have so many for you. I, I have so many questions. How much time you got, buddy? What the fuck is this yeah. place? <laughs> First of all, uh, can I send our regards? <laughs> it's a great layer. Yeah. But what the fuck are y'all what doing over here? Fuck. What is this place? <sighs> so that's how it went and he was hard. So mm-hmm. just thank God for that. That's it. So now, uh, Scaramanga kills High Fat, that, the guy that funded the whole thing, for not killing Bond and takes his control of his empire. Just like that. Well, he didn't know that he had his golden gun on. Uh huh. It's a cigarette. <laughs> it's true. And a, and a, the whole a thing. Fire. And then after he kills him, takes his Solex with him. So it's all kind of roses for Scaramanga. Yeah. Things are going well. Mm-hmm. So back at the hotel. And uh, then tells High Fat's uh, operation uh, hey, yeah. It's. Scaramanga fat now, yeah. brother. Daddy's home. Yeah. <laughs> no, we had somebody six foot five, and you know how the Chinese will follow anybody tall. Mm-hmm. Really. I mean, Yao Ming owned that country for years yeah, in the dude. 90s. <laughs> we could run that joint. <laughs> yeah. And we will soon. Meet Scaramanga. He goes through his whole story of c- circuses. Oh, yeah. And- it was... <laughs> Chip shots. Like, like bears and nonsense. There was all kind of things going on there. I noticed two lines after I... I Last watched it because um, she was all into Bond. And he goes, Mr. Bond, a mistress cannot serve two masters. Heard that. <laughs> Heard that. And then once he comments on her being killed, uh, Scaramanga goes, a difficult shot, but most gratifying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Scaramanga, you magnificent bastard. You magnificent master. You read our book. Goodnight gets it and follows Scaramanga and Nick Nat to the car to like plan a homing device mm-hmm. and Scaramanga throws her in, yeah. which he takes great relish in. Couldn't have been happier. I mean, that 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 smile was 
Ear to ear, man. That's genuine. That's that's that, that's a grin there. That's genuine glee. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's ear to ear. That's that's a man taking pride in his work and enjoying his work. <laughs> we can always we can all you know only hope all, for that kind of thing. We can all take a page out of Frank's book, really. Oh, good for him. Good for him. Well, I mean, how happy would you be? Stuffing a hot blonde into your trunk while you have your midget drive you away uh -huh. in a plane car. And you know where you're going. You're going to your lair. So there's no way out. And he gets to the island. Scaramang is so happy to see Bond. Oh, we have such little time, Mr. Bond. God. We will couldn't, never have this opportunity again. Couldn't Let's be started. happier. I just could not be happy. Well, it's two equals. Oh, Meet each other. Or in Scaramanga's eyes, two equals. Mm -hmm. And as the great host that he is, gives him a tour. Mm -hmm. I mean... Uh, Introduce them to Reggie Jackson. Yeah, Reggie Everybody, Jackson, yeah. the Solar Energy Lab. Mm -hmm. So, after that, they have dinner. And do you remember his toast? He made a toast. Oh, he made a toast. I bet. And of course, been as nice. they're drinking the best of the, the best and the best food ever. Oh, yeah. And Scaram I'll tell you, he wasn't serving food yuck at that dinner. Uh -huh. So Scaramanger just simply gets his drink, toasts to Bond, and goes, here's to us, Mr. Bond. We are the best. <laughs> well, well that's, that's something I can get behind. Huh? <laughs> I'm going to start saying that every toast I have. Here's, here's to us. Here's to us. We are the we best. We are the best. Scaramanga's fun house and then poses that mannequin and puts uh, puts one right in between Scaramanga's eyes, which uh, it's, it's a bummer to see Scaramanga go. Wow. But great villain. If Scaramanga could have picked a way to go, I'm telling you, that... That's this Scaramanga true. dying happy. I'll say that. Mm -hmm. That guy loved Bond. I'm telling you, of he all did. the villains, that guy loves Bond. Oh, he's great. Scaramanga. Would I drink with Scaramanga? Now, this is a full night. All right, no, no, no. This might be a month I might drink with this guy. This is, let's get pre-drinks, and he's he, paying for all of it. He gets it. And the finest, like Bollinger, Dom, it's a pre-party at his island. And then we go have this five-star restaurant. Like, we're all getting fucked up. And he brings all the women and everybody mm -hmm. that you need. And then after, we're going out to the clubs. He's paying for all of it. The VIP room. <laughs> Anything you need, Scaramanga's got for you. And then you get to go after hours in a fun house. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's... I mean, there's no better villain to drink with. Mm. 